Hello, this is Don and her buddy, what's your buddy's name? This is Bob. This is Bob. We are the locally world famous chiropractors in Huntington Beach. We're going to show you today some cool things you can do with your low back to make it feel better. So, Don, what's your last name again? Costantino. Cost, Constant, Constant, Constantino. No, you're just doing it on purpose. <laughs> I can't say her last name. I'm Sebastian. Nice to meet you. So, we're going to go through some stuff that you guys can do, at least at home, to mess around with your low back and make it feel better. A lot of times people can feel better with their lower back. Um, they just have to know a couple things to try and then really dose that at, at home. So, why don't you go over first maybe one of the first things that you see people doing with their low back that might be helpful. Like you they're do. close. I got one. Right when you said it, I was like, I know. Okay. Maybe at the end we'll discuss a little bit about what's going on with the low back too. Cool. Okay. So we'll put this guy here for now. I'm what gonna you lay gonna that way. You're gonna lay down. Yeah, okay. this is what I see. I see this. Oh, you see the stretching. Okay. So the stretching, why does what do you like or don't like about this? What don't I like about it? Yeah. I mean I think for some people they're trying to like force this feeling of stretch in that area and that may not be necessarily what's going to be helping it. So I mean, you know, another, another thing that comes to mind when you're doing this is it looks like you're trying to, to adjust your back. Mm -hmm. Is that a, is that something you should be doing? No. Okay, why not? Why can't? Do I have to go to someone like you to do that? What if I need to get the adjustment done? Why do I, why are you telling me not to do this? It feels good. I think that sometimes, like a lot of people, they are adjusting their low back over and over and over and over again. And they're doing it because it gives it temporary relief. Mm -hmm. But why does it keep coming back? So it's not that the adjustment isn't good for it. It just isn't allowing it to. <laughs> what am I trying to say? I, I like to think of it kind of like it's it's uh, it's it's releasing, but it's also it could just be like it's it's just kind of loose, mm -hmm. not not clinically unstable. But if you feel like you always got to pop your back over and over again, um, there's probably something a little bit more to it. Um, but again, that's nice. It feels good, but does it stay? It's all about wanting to stay. We want to feel better. So I would agree, maybe the side to side stretch is not the best thing to do for everybody. Um, but I think there's ways that we can improve on this too. So there's exercises and stretches are good for certain things, but there's also the ways to tinker with them. Let me give an example with this. Go ahead and line your back again for okay. me. So with the demonstration that you did with this, again, not bad. Um, however, you're forcing it with the hand, I think is what makes it challenging for me to say, yes, go ahead and do it. So go ahead and come back for me again. Let's imagine that you're out on the floor here and you got your hands wide because, perfect, so I want you to force your hands into the floor, in this case you're doing your shoulder blades, you're going to notice it stiffens your belly up. Now let's go ahead and actually put this, we're going to drop this knee towards the floor, but I want you to slowly get there but don't touch it, okay? It's almost like you can use at any point, I'll help your hand, at any point you should be able to push off the floor with the hands and push yourself back, okay? And so what we're doing is we're getting it so the body here has to control rotation. It might pop, but what we want to do is we, we need to build our bodies and in, in spines tolerance to things like rotating because sometimes rotating hurts our back, those awkward missteps and so on. So I think maybe building tension through that rotational movement and if it happens to pop, by all means I would do that. I like that. What's maybe something else that people like to do that you maybe like or don't like? Um, downward dog. Downward dog. <laughs> You're going to pick the show Downward Dog on the table. <laughs> so go ahead and show me Downward Dog. It's just dog. the first thing that comes to my mind that okay. people always use for low back pain. Well, why don't you like, uh, show me Downward Dog so everyone understands what it is. Okay. Don't worry, I'll keep you in frame here. <laughs> I was like, this is going to be weird on here. Yeah, well you picked it. It's okay. Not the best at it, Okay. But it's this. Definitely not the best Downward Dog. I would, <laughs> I would say this is a horrible Downward Dog. But, but, so what don't you like about this? And I'll point it out because I see what's happening on you. Okay, so what I don't like about it, number one, is if our back doesn't like bending, this is putting us in a very bendy position, number one. Number two, it pulls. Like for me, I can feel it. I'm just like pulling to my hamstring. It feels like it's a stretch, but again, is this stretch the right type of stretch? Right. So go ahead and do that one more time. I'll just look at one more thing on this because I, I do think... This stuff is good for some people, but not others. And let's just say if we're gonna, I'm gonna kind of raise this a little mm -hmm. bit. Okay, so she has a bend in her back right here a little bit. It's kind of like a turtle hump. And so if her back pain was here and it was from something like a low back disc, 
bending forward, like picking up objects, like this wouldn't like it. And so maybe if I take, bring my fingers together with your, there you go, so pack it, pack it, pack I can't it. even go any further than uh, that. That's okay, go ahead and bend your knees a little bit more, pack it, pack it, pack it, good. So this might feel more comfortable on her, sure she doesn't get the hamstring stretch, but it makes the position of a, a rocking, I guess not a downward dog anymore, more of like a, a tur let's go with a frog. You're like a, a downward frog, go ahead and relax. <laughs> um, and so maybe that's a little bit more uh, productive for that movement. Uh, um, but, so I think we can always make things a little bit better and they shouldn't feel super stretchy. No, not that one. I think for me, that just was a perfect example. Like some of us just aren't even ready for that movement. Like I was not ready for that movement and it might be driving irritation in my back. I wouldn't post that picture and say, look at my downward dog anymore. <laughs> I think mine's bad too. Um, so maybe show me something that, that helps a lot of people. Like if you were to gam if you're a gambling woman and you're like, I'm going to put all my money on this. This will help a lot of people. Okay. Want me to do it? Sure, you can be the demo. It's just this, huh? This first, <laughs> to okay. make sure. So, explain what people should maybe feel in this position right here. Nothing. Nothing. Why? 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 I mean, that's a. I think that's a big thing. People are looking for a stretch in this kind of stuff, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Why? Why should we maybe not look for any feeling at all here? I think one of the things is because. People are always in constant pain, so let's see if we can put you in a position that you don't have any pain, so we can calm the body down. That's where my mind goes with that. Good. Yeah, I like the, I like this too. A lot of times, just sagging here, it's very helpful. It makes people feel better. Um, I mean, if you've had back pain before, it's just, just mind-numbing to have to deal with it all the time. And so, just relaxing things down multiple times a day, you know, ten minutes a day, break them up into bits. Something like this is very helpful, and um, if we relate this to stuff like sitting, let's just say we're rounded a lot, and so we're just doing the opposite. Our body likes to do the opposite sometimes. Um, but if this starts to send down the leg, it's just something that you probably don't want to do, right? Mm -hmm. So, but if it feels like nothing much or a little bit of discomfort, that's okay. Um, you're going to show the next progression of this, right? So, a little bit of a press up or a cobra is nice to do. Again, this might feel a little bit of a, a little bit of a pinchy right here. That's okay. It's a normal feeling, but if it goes down the leg, it's not anything we want to do. Surprisingly, when we have people do this and they get up and bend again and bend forward and touch their toes, they can actually go further mm -hmm. and try that downward dog again. A lot of people too, their downward dog gets better in pain-free because they can get into more range and go ahead and relax. So, what do you what do you think about why does why does someone's maybe hamstring flexibility get better after doing something like your like your cobra? Um, I think that it just kind of lets the body calm down and shows your body that you can do certain movements that maybe you've been avoiding for a little while. Number one and number two, it just takes irritation away from the areas that is causing that feeling of tightness down the hamstrings in the first place. Yeah, I agree. Um, what's some? So you pick two. I guess I'll pick one now. Okay. Okay. So um, why don't we do? I'm going to do what we call the rescue position, and this is nice for a lot of people that are dealing with just ongoing back pain. It works for a lot of people. Um, and so I'm, you're going to be my simulated chair. Okay. Okay. So Don's my chair, and I'm just going to rest my, my feet or my thigh or my, my shins up on there and just even rocking the knees towards the body to a position that feels comfortable. Again, rescue position, it should feel comfortable. It doesn't feel like anything. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people even put like a little pad underneath their tailbone right here just to kind of cradle their back a little bit. Not arch it, but just allow the tailbone to come up a little bit and you just breathe it out. Put the place the hands right here and just deep breaths in, mm -hmm. in the nose for seconds and out the mouth. And in and out. And you spend a couple minutes. We had a gentleman the other day that came in that he got to a zero in this position and he's had a lot of pain. So. Finding a, a, a position of zero, not a stretch, a position of comfortable and hopefully a zero, um, is very, very useful. And you use that for a couple days and all of a sudden you can do a lot of things that you didn't think you'd be able to do. Um, then we just have to build support after that, right? I think it's, since we're in this position, safe to show this one. Oh, a little rocking. Like if you had a person that maybe could do this for you at home and just apply a little traction this way and then rock. Yeah, I think that's pull. good. Yeah. And you can kind of see like like my butt right here. It's just it's lifting off. I'm not fighting Dawn. I'm just kind of letting her do her thing. And this is like nice spinal decompression. Yeah, just a little pull here. Sometimes people knee pain, this may not be the best thing, but just a little press here and a little lean away. 
Yeah, and it just pulls on that spine. It feels really good. You can keep going. Okay. Go ahead and you can close this one out and just keep just keep doing that. <laughs> All right, guys. So some of these things that you can do at home for your low back pain. Um, try it out. Some of the things though is that this may help get you out of pain. This may help decrease some of your discomfort, but how do we get it from returning altogether? We gotta start building up strength, building up supports around the area to prevent it from coming in the first place. So we can help people virtually do this. Um, we can help people in person if you're in the area. We're in Huntington Beach, California. Um, we're at Performance Place Sports Care. You can send us an email info at p2sportscare.com. What did I say last time? I just I just threw out a random Gmail one time. It was so <laughs> weird. And uh, our phone number, 714-502-4243. Just give us a call. Ask us any questions that you may have. We'd love to help you through it. What's the thing about the, around the YouTube? Oh, there's a, a subscribe button. It's on the mm. corner somewhere. Mm -hmm. There's usually a little, it's a little P. It'll, it'll tell you, hey, click me. Click me. I want to. I want to get every video that you guys put out because you do it. We do it a couple days a week, and a lot of nice, useful stuff that you guys can gather a lot of information and hopefully get yourself out of pain. Got some squeaky knees. <laughs>